Hello and welcome Pixels! In this episode I want to introduce the Snap Tool. Here's a little overview of the content for this video. Timestamps are in the description below. Snapping is a very important tool for modeling or placing objects. Sometimes it is necessary to move an object or a particular vertex to a specific position. This tool will help you for this. You enable or disable this tool by clicking on this icon here or press shift tab later as a shortcut. Beside of the icon on the right side is the snapping menu, where you are able to adjust the behavior of snapping. I will present each single category now. I will focus on effect on move and exclude rotation and scale for this tutorial. Snap to increments of the grid. By moving the vertex or object with the G key, you are able to snap exact one grid union of the current view on your grid. This depends on the origin of your object. If you press the middle mouse button and move the mouse to a specific direction, then the snap will lock the other axis and you are only able to move the selection to this direction. This lock in place is as well possible by press first the G key and then the axis you want to move your selection. With increments you open this adjustment option. Absolute grid snap. Snap to grid instead of snapping in increments relative to the current location. When you select snap to vertex you will get more adjustment opportunities. First you are able to select a category if you want to snap to closest, center, median or active. In edit mode there is no difference on selecting one of these options if you select only one vertex because it will always snap to the next vertex. Only if you select more than one vertex you will get a different result. It is always important if you work in object or edit mode if you work with one or more objects, your origin and your selection order. Closest take the vertex which is closest to the hovered aim position. Center take all the selected objects and calculate the center of them and use this center point for snapping to the aim location. Median uses the origin point of your object. You get best result in object mode and this function is pretty useless in edit mode. Active is useful if you work with more than one selected object. It will take the origin of the last selected object and snap all objects to the hovered aim position. Underneath those adjustment options you will find backface culling and align rotation to target. Backface culling can be very useful for ignoring vertices in the background of your camera angle and just snap to vertices which face orientation is pointing to your camera angle. Align rotation to target is interesting if you want to snap to corners, round shapes or faces with a specific angle. This may be interesting for placing objects to a slanted surface. Snap to vertices is very useful in edit mode if you want to reduce vertices and have auto merge enabled. It may be as well useful to bring vertices to same height as well. For example, lock in the Z axis and bring the selected vertices to the same height of the second object. Keep in mind my presentation for the adjustment options, closest, center, median, active, back freeze calling and the line rotation to target in the previous step. In object mode the behavior of snap to edge is pretty similar. Now you are able to slide along the edge. Snap to edge bring your selected vertex to the wanted edge and slide between the two vertices of the edge. Keep in mind that this method is not very good for removing or merging vertices. By selecting snap to face you will get another adjustment option. Project individual elements. 
which can be very useful by selecting a couple of objects. Just move them to a curved object and place them along the surface which is depending on the current angle of view. Consider that you may lose the even distance of the selected objects. In edit mode you are able to snap vertices to the surface of faces. Could be very useful for creating a retopology. Check out my video tutorial about how to create a retopology on level geometry. As long as the selected object is overlapping with the object closest to your mouse cursor, you will get a snap. If the object volume will leave the other object, then the snapping will be over. Snap to volume, open a new adjustment option. Snap peel object. The definitions say, consider object as whole when finding volume center. And to be honest, I really don't know how this works. Selecting vertices in edit mode is pretty similar than in object mode. Your selection will be snapped to the hovered object and remain there till you leave the volume again. Consider the options closest, center, median and active. Snap to edge center in object mode, snap the object to the hovered center of an edge. In edit mode you move the selection to center of an hovered edge. The description say, snap to the nearest point of an edge. This may sound some kind of interesting, but it is not really handy. I haven't found out how to move the mouse cursor so that I get a snap. The theory is clear. The function is taking the closest point of two objects and give it a snap to the aim location. I have never used this function before. That's all. If you have any further questions, write a comment in the section below. Thank you very much for watching. It would be very nice to give this video a like and or subscribe to our YouTube channel for more game dev videos. Cheers!